Hello there, this is Lady Ravenhill, and today I'm going to show you how I created these five dark valentine card designs. <laughs> um, I'll show you the materials that I used and the drawing and painting process with the Liquitex inks. Here's just my pencil sketches and the washi tape, all prepped and ready to go. These are the colors I'm using for the first drawing. The sunflower with the falling petals. I was thinking about that game you play when you're kids where you pull the petals off of a flower and say, they love me, they love me not, until you get to the end. The last petal still hasn't fallen, but the word on this will be love me so the viewer has to stop and decide if love me is the petal that's falling and if the last petal will be love me not For the next one, I just used red, black, white, and of course the uh, Fiskars fluid. <laughs> the poison candy box is going to say, have me. A box of chocolates with the poison symbol on top. Most of the candy's already been eaten. Now, do you ever eat all the candy or before you give it as a gift? <laughs> I feel like the intention is to maybe join in something toxic with me, or maybe it's a Romeo and Juliet happily ever after, you know, till death do us part. The next one, I used three colors, a yellow, a blue, and the bird umber for this broken stuffed bunny <laughs> that's going to say, hold me. He's all patched up and healing from something that happened to him in his past. I was going to make the bunny like pink or blue, but a friend gave me an obvious statement that bunnies are brown, so she's brown. And then I threw the pops of color on the bandages. And I feel like maybe it's a statement about baggage that follows you, or maybe it's a nod to being stuck in a harmful place. Either way, this bunny needs some love.
The next one is the eyeball roses and I just use traditional colors for red roses. I designed this with three eyes so it wouldn't look like the face was alive and the third eye maybe is suggesting that it can see more than usual. Uh, I wonder if the gifter is asking please see me or if it's a statement like I can see you. <laughs> um, is this person unrequited or maybe a stalker? I don't know. Uh, it's just creepy and cool and beautiful in my opinion. The next and last one uses blues only. And it's a pair of handcuffs that says, keep me. Take from this what you will, you know, it could be a sign of what commitment means to the giver, or it could be a, an, a request for fun, or <laughs> maybe it's uh, something dark like Stockholm Syndrome, like I'd rather be your captive. Uh, <laughs> either way, it's um, probably the boldest one that I that I did, and I think it might be my favorite. <laughs> And there they are, my five dark Valentine's cards. Um, maybe anti-Valentine, maybe just emo Valentine, but not your typical candy and roses. I think I'm going to go ahead and put these up on my Etsy for digital download in case you forgot to get a card for someone. Uh, <laughs> download and print these out. It's sure to uh, turn heads. And thank you again for watching my video and feel free to check out my Etsy or my Instagram. The links will be in the description and look forward to more art videos here on my YouTube channel. Thank you and happy Valentine's Day.